Air 7000 Phase 2C, Australia's P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft will receive 900 km range RASM firing capability with major sensor upgrade. The Royal Australian Air Force's RAAF fleet of 14 Boeing P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol and Response aircraft will receive major upgrade to bring them up to the latest U.S. Navy configuration. The upgrade will be conducted under Project Air 7000 Phase 2C from 2026, bringing the aircraft up to the latest increment 3 Block 2 configuration. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Comment below and let us know your thoughts on Australia deploying RASM with its P-8A Poseidon. The upgrades to the fleet of Poseidon aircraft strengthens our ability to secure and protect Australia's maritime interests, Minister for Defence Industry Pat Conroy said on September 19. The Royal Australian Air Force, RAAF, joined the US Navy as a cooperative development partner on the P-8A program in 2012, giving the RAF a stake in developing and defining the aircraft's capabilities and configuration. One Australian development was a search and rescue kit comprising a lift raft and supplies that could be carried in the aircraft's weapons bay and dropped to a vessel in trouble if required. Australia's P-8A are based at RAAF Edinburgh near Adelaide and are operated by No. 11 Operational Squadron and No. 292 Training Squadron. Apart, apart from the traditional anti-submarine role, the P-8A can also perform anti-ship strike, search and rescue, and maritime and overland intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Upgraded Configuration As a cooperative development partner, the Australia's P-8 as will be maintained in a common configuration as the U.S. Navy's aircraft, thus making them fully integrated when operating together and being part of a common supply chain of spares and sustainment. The upgraded P-8A Poseidon can fire AGM-158C RASM standoff anti-ship missiles at adversary warships. The AGM-158C will be integrated with the Australia's F-A-18F and F-35A combat aircraft and the P-8A. One of the critical capabilities to be added under Increment 3 is the ability to employ the Lockheed Martin AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, RASM, which is being acquired under Project Air 3023 Phase 1. Other improvements will be made to the aircraft's anti-submarine capabilities, acoustic sensors, and data links. The RAAF will operate all two variants of the AGM-158 family. The 800 km range AGM-158B JASM ER has been selected for the FA-18F Super Hornets, and the LRASM, which has a range of more than 900 km and will also be carried by the Super Hornets as well as the F-35A and now, the P-8A. The Royal Australian Air Force received 800 km range JASM ER and 900 km range RASM in April 2023. Based on a similar stealthy airframe with fold-out wings, the three AGM-158 variants differ in engine sizes, fuel capacity, seekers and guidance systems, and warheads. The LRASM will initially augment the Boeing AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile in service. The smaller Harpoon has a 200 km range and is not stealthy. The P-8A can carry two Harpoons on each wing as they are too large for the internal weapons bay. The larger LRASM will also need to be carried on the wing pylons. The LRASM is equipped with an onboard digital library of ship silhouettes and AI-enabled software, allowing it to autonomously target and attack moving ships in crowded waterways or littoral regions. It also has jamming-resistant GPS and INS, an infrared seeker, and data links. It flies at medium altitude en route to its target area before dropping to skim just above the ocean's surface during its attack run. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.